Hi, my name's Tony Cable. This is the second video of our ClickSmart products overview. Once again, I'm joined here today by Skullmore's product trainer, Dave Robbins. Hi Tony. Hi everybody. In this video, we're going to look at the installation of a system. Now, if I remember from the last video, we had the box, yep. the aerial, the internet cable, and the power supply. So tell me, how does it all go together? Really simple. Let's start with the aerial. On the front of the box, you'll remember the little connection for that. It's mm. important that we don't cross the thread and we connect that up. So I suggest that that's just yes. put together, finger tight, no more. A bit of care taken there. A little bit of care just to make sure we get it right. So now we just need to connect our Ethernet cable in to the back of the box. Right, and where's the other end of that cable going to go? The other end we attach into the back of a standard router. Right. Okay. On the back of your home router, there's probably one or two of these ports already free to connect to. So, there we go. So that just leaves the power source. That's it. So we just need to plug in the power adapter into the back, like so. And uh, what's that one there then for, Dave? That one there. It's a good point, actually. There's um, many people struggle to find spare sockets. They've got TVs and other appliances all plugged in near their router and they don't have a spare socket. So if that's a problem, what you can get is a USB power cable, plugging it into there and then into a local device like a TV or a video recorder. Oh, right. oh great. Something like great. that. Thank you for that, Dave. Don't forget to click here to check out the next ClickSmart video where we'll be running through the setup of the ClickSmart app.